Hi, is this Brian? Uh, I'm sorry, This my name is Anna Anders. I just got off the phone with your mother, Marie. Brian? Uh -huh. And the reason I'm calling you, um, believe it or not, I am Nancy Ruiz's cousin. My name is Anna Anders. And I'm calling you on, ha on behalf of Gina DeJesus. Um, I had some questions for you, hon, because I, I actually had to Google... Uh, to the yellow pages and white pages to find your number. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona, but I'm originally from corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, the reason I say corrupt is because I believe with all my heart and soul that the girls should have been found the day that your brother and you guys seen uh, Gina getting abducted. And the reason I'm going to tell you that the corrupt go cops treated you the way they treated you was because I'm a peace flag maker, and I was going public with my work in Cleveland, Ohio, when Gina was abducted. And our government has covered up this case times 10 years. And I went home in 2011, I took some peace flags to Ground Zero, gave them away for free, and when I came back after 9-11-2011, I went to my cousin Nancy, and I said, Nancy, this government had 10 years to look for your daughter. I don't believe they're looking for her on purpose. I said, I believe they know what happened to Gina, and they've been covering it up and punishing our family because of me making peace flags. And um, long story short, I asked my cousin Nancy very directly, face-to-face, -face, in her backyard, and I asked her, do I have permission to look for Gina for you um, in the corrupt streets of Cleveland because uh, I believe this government is, is covering it up. Can you stop making noise over there, Zanna, please? Please, thank you. This is more important here. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I'm on the phone right now. Um, and I'm kind of, uh, your mom, I spoke to your mom, Marie, and she gave me your number and your brother Eric's number. And your mom said that, your mom said that even the media wasn't trying to listen to you at all. But I want you to know something. Everything is corrupt, honey. And the people that did 9-11 live on the east side of Cleveland. And those are the same people that covered up the Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, and uh, Gina's case for 10 years. And I know that because... I know that because um, I went to the three churches, St. Michael's, Scranton Church, and Mega Church on Clark Avenue, uh, and I held up a sign that said, Where is Gina? And I passed out a four-page newsletter called All Eyes on It uh, in the thousands uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, back in May of 2012 throughout the whole summer. Um, and then I, and this four-page newsletter that I created called All Eyes on It it explained everything that was going on uh, from beginning to end, and um, and so and so when I was at the three churches at, at Scranton Church, St. Michael's Church, and Mega Church on a Sunday, the very next day on a Monday, corrupt Fox News aired a story that they said the FBI got a tip from a man in jail that. Uh, Amanda Berry's body and Gina De Jesus's body was buried in an empty lot, which happened to be right right off of 32nd and Seymour. They went over there and started digging. I don't know if you remember that story, but it came out when I was when I was okay. Well, it, that story that story happened because.